What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Kakashi from Naruto. Now I want to begin today's lesson by adding a guideline coming down the center of our page to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start at the very top right in the center. Just going to lightly sketch our way down towards the bottom. Just using these short lines going all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Now I'm going to add another guideline going across from left to right. Let's start right in the center, go out toward the left, and then we'll extend that out towards the right side. Now I'm going to use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. So from the center, let's step up towards the top, mark off the top of our circle, and then we want to take this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing, just marking off the bottom of our circle. Let's do the same thing across this horizontal line, taking this distance over toward the left, marking that off, and again taking that distance towards the right. Now I want to connect each of these points with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect, we just want to get the right size. Just roughing this in. We can always go back and just readjust the shape if we need to, just smoothing out the edges. Now we're going to add another guideline coming down from the side of our circle. Let's start with the left side. Just pulling this straight down, and then do the same thing on the right. Let's add another guideline across the bottom of our circle, going out towards the left and right side. Now we're going to tilt the head forward so the eyes are going to sit just underneath this center line. So we'll step down from the left, draw a line going across. Now we're just going to mark off the inside corner of the eyes. From the center, let's step all the way over towards the left, come all the way down towards the bottom, take that same distance towards the right. Now with this character, we're going to tilt the headband over towards the right, so let's draw in the left eye. From this point, we're going to step down, curve the eye going up, and then out. Let's move over, curve the eye going out, and then down towards the side. Let's add a curve for the bottom of the eye, coming down and then up, just leaving a gap on the outside and the inside of the eye. Now I want to tuck the iris and pupil underneath the eyelid. So over on the left, draw a half circle, coming down and then up. Let's add a fold across the top of the eye. We go up and then down on the inside. Now we pull the face mask up in between the eyes. Let's start from this line on the left, curve this up in the middle, and then bend that back down on the right. Let's curve the bottom edge of the mask. On the left, bend this down, and then out towards the side of our circle. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go to the left side of our circle. We're going to curve the bottom of the headband going across and then down towards the right. Come across, over the face mask, and then bend that down. Now I want to continue that curve down towards the bottom corner on the right. From the side of our circle, just going to angle the head, coming down and then in. Now I'm going to come down the center and just mark off the bottom of the chin with a straight line. Somewhere around here. Let's go back up to the jaw. It's going to curve the head, coming down and then in towards the chin. Now you want to leave a gap in the center. Let's move up to the top and draw the eyebrow, starting over on left, curve this up, and then down on the inside. Just curl up the brow underneath the headband. Go back to the outside. I'm just going to taper this so it gets thicker as you go up underneath. Now we're going to move up and draw the top edge of the headband. Starting over on the left, draw a straight line going up to right about there. Now you want to follow this curve going across and just bring that down on the right. Let's connect the top corner and the bottom corner with a curve. Just going to round up the side of the head and then pull that back. Now over on the left side, I'm going to draw the ear. Start with a straight line going out, come straight down the side, and we'll just angle that down and then in. Now I'm going to come down and draw the inside edge of the collar. I'm going to start from the left side of the head, I'm just going to draw a circle going around, 
and just tuck this up on the right side. It's like a half circle. Now from the bottom, I'm just going to taper this going out and then up underneath the earlobe. Now from the side of the collar, draw a straight angle line coming down and out. And I'll follow that same curve along the inside going around and then in toward the outside of the ear. Let's go back to the inside corner of the collar. I'm just going to bend this in and then down toward the bottom. Let's go to the outside corner and follow that same curve, coming in and then bending that down. Now we move down towards the bottom, angle is down and out, just cutting off the bottom of the collar. Connect those two points with a curve, coming down and then up. I'm going to go out to the side of the collar, go straight down, and I just want to bend that in towards the bottom corner of the collar. And then do the same thing on the right, coming straight down from the side, and then bending that in. Let's go up towards the side, slope the shoulders, coming down, and then out. Now let's go back up to the top and draw that metal plate. On the sides, we're going to draw two straight angle lines, one coming down on the left, Go all the way over towards the right side and do the same thing. Now from the top, we step down, curve this around, and then down. And then from the bottom, we'll step up, draw a straight line. Now we're going to loosely block in the spikes across the top of the head. Let's start from this point. Angle this up and out toward the left. Angle this back in. Let's curve the next spike going around and then up, and then we'll bend that back in. Let's add a larger spike, a little bit bigger as it come up, and then bring that back down. Now drawing a large one, going all the way across towards the right, and then bring that back down. Now I'm going to continue down the right side. Add another spike going across with a curve and bringing that back in. And go a little bit smaller, going out and then in towards the side of the head. Now I add a few smaller spikes across the right side. Start with a straight line going out and then angle this in towards the head. Let's add another spike coming down and out. Angle that back in. I'm just going to angle this one down and then back up towards the headband. I'm going to add a few more spikes on top of the headband. Let's start up here, come down and then back up. Let's add a slightly longer one, coming down and then up. Let's add one more, pull this down across the side of the head and then back up. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean sketch, let's go in and start adding some more detail and refining the shape. Now I want to start by tracing out the bottom edge of the headband. Starting on the left side, I'm just going to curve across the head. And also darkening this up and modifying the shape as we go. Now I'm going to add a fold across the bottom. I'm going to step down, go around, and then pull that in. Get that fold and then layer it in the top. Now extending the left side of the headband, rounding this out. go back and just modify the shape of that metal plate. I'm just going to round up the sides. I'm 
And we'll move down and add some hair along the side. Pull that up underneath the headband. Now I'm going to go back and just add some more shape to the ears. Starting along the outside edge. Just working our way down towards the earlobe. And then we'll add those details along the inside. Open up the inside of the iris and add a light highlight on the left side. In the center mask, I'm just going to trace out the shadow of the nose. Starting along the bottom, and just working our way back up towards the top. I'm going to lightly shade that in. I'm just going to add some rivets across the outside of that metal plate. So one on each corner, and then one in between. Now in the center of the headband, it's going to draw out a circle. Now along the top right, it's going to darken this up. And just work this into a swirl, coming all the way around. And then we'll just add a little bit of thickness to that swirl. I'm also going to add a bevel across the bottom edge. I want to go back with the side edge of my pencil and add an even shade to the face mask. I'm also going to carry that shading into the neck area.
also the headband going around that metal plate. It's going to trace out this trim along the center of the collar, coming in, and we'll bend that back down towards the bottom. And we'll trace that line on either side, starting with the outside on the left, and then we'll trace out the inside to create a thin trim. I'm just going to add some cross hatching to create some shadow along the inside of the collar. Just come down in an angle. And then do the same thing on the right. Now we just want to go a shade darker across the neck area. Just going to do another pass. And I'm just going to trace out the bottom edge of that shadow. Cast from the head, so kind of come down in the middle and then up towards the right. And then we'll just add that cross hatching along the inside. Just starting from the left and just working our way across. Set another shadow line across the top. And we'll just go darker, just underneath the head. And we want to lightly shade in the metal plate, working our way across. Now on the right, we're just gonna fade this out to create a bit of a highlight. And then from the right side, we'll come in and just fade that out. Add some reflection along the inside. Now moving back up to the top, I'm just going to trace the contours of the hair. You can always go back and just modify the shape if we need to. And go back and add a shadow line on the right side, cast from the headband, and we'll just darken that up.
Now you want to add some shadows across the base of the hair. So you're going to start with the perimeter, just tracing out the contour. Just lightly working our way across towards the right. Just adding these points. And just working our way across. And we'll add that cross hatch pattern inside those shadows. Now as we get near the end, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Kakashi. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.